welcome to the first class of meteorology and uh, the first chapter of the ic joshi is atmosphere as you can see so atmosphere what is atmosphere atmosphere is the art of an envelope of homogeneous mixture of gases called air it surrounds the earth and it attracts to it due to earth the atmosphere moves with the earth at the same speed of gyration it appears to have no upper limit however a very large portion of the atmosphere is confined to the few kilometers of the surface so this is the earth here is the atmosphere a characteristic the atmosphere has weight and hence uh, as the pressure it is compressible and expandable it occupies space and has no definite shape it is mobile in which transfer of heat and moisture the composition composition is air air is a mixture of gases for all practical purposes dry air is a uniform mixture of the following gases nitrogen 78.08% so we have nitrogen which is 78.08% this is important to remember oxygen is 20.95% and argon and carbon dioxide 0.35% so very less carbon dioxide and the traces are neon helium methane krypton nitrous oxide hydrogen and xenon so so now <coughs> nitrogen and oxygen constitutes almost 99% of the air the ratio is proportion nitrogen is to oxygen is 4.1 by volume and uh, 3.1 by weight this is important for mcq so 4 is to 1 by volume so volume is v remember volume is v how to remember and 4 also has an opposite v this is this is just to remember so f because you will get confused uh, when it comes into the um, question 4 is to 1 3 is to 1 2 is to 1 so you'll get con confused by volume what is volume volume is 4 is to 1 and by weight is 3 is to 1 so the remaining one is the weight okay so v4 remember due to rapid reduction of gases with height the supplements oxygen is needed to bring to 10,000 feet above 10,000 feet we need oxygen support the atmosphere is generally well mixed it has a nearly similar composition to height of about 80 kilometer uh, due to the earth gravitation so we have an atmosphere around 80 km the atmosphere is up to 80 km is called the homosphere and above it is the heterosphere so above 80 is heterosphere this is the earth up to 80 is homosphere and above it is heterosphere yeah, about 20 to 25 km however there is a high concentration of ozone important variable gases in addition to the above gases the atmosphere also contains water vapor carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide neon nitrogen oxide not important these gases are very amount of places places okay through though very small in quantity water vapor carbon dioxide ozone are very significant for weather and life they cause greenhouse effect which keeps art warm so which are the gases those are important for greenhouse this is carbon dioxide ozone and water vapor this comes in mcq uh, because we always um, skip the water vapor we don't understand the importance of water vapor so we have carbon dioxide ozone and water vapor for greenhouse effect okay these gases are also known as greenhouse gases ozone protects us from all uh, from the ill effects of ultraviolet radiation from the sun so which uh, protects us from the ultraviolet uh, radiation uv radiation it is the ozone now this is how you have to find out the mcq questions dry air and stand uh, saturated air what is dry air water in the atmosphere can exist in three states solid ice and uh, snow ice and hail uh, that means uh, uh, correction solid liquid and gas okay solid liquid and gas three forms the concentration of water vapor rapidly decreases with height the amount of water vapor that air can contain largely depends on its atmosphere warmer air can hold greater amount of water vapor warmer air can hold greater amount of water vapor now this is remember this has to uh, mark okay
because generally we think colder they are more water vapor maybe they can contain it is not the water vapor amount can be as much as 4% in the tropics uh, region 23.5 degree north to south okay and almost negligible it in polar regions of higher altitudes above 30,000 feet due to very low temperature so water vapor is 4% near the tropics tropics remember this data and about 30,000 feet it is uh, negligible with 4% water vapor the air turned to saturated air and has 100% relative humidity uh, when relative humidity is less than 100% the air is unsaturated and called dry air so remember what we call saturated air saturated means the maximum amount of water vapor that the air can contain with that certain temperature okay now maximum the air can saturate with four percent of water vapor only four percent of water vapor the air is saturated okay and in the next uh, next and next chapters we'll uh, read about uh, relative uh, humidity 100% relative humidity we'll study those things so 100% relative humidity comes when the air has 4% of water vapor remember this if you have a notebook just make a note but when relative humidity is less than 100% uh, it, uh, the air is unsaturated or we call it as dry air so next comes carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is pro produced by burning the fuel wood etc it concentra its concentration is substantial in industrial areas where in polar regions are higher altitude it is negligible a large amount of carbon dioxide is dissolved in oceans plants absorb carbon dioxide use its carbon food and releases o2 for the atmosphere okay but not important for mcq ozone ozone forms the upper atmosphere it absorbs the UV radiation as we studied earlier from the sun and raises temperature. O3 molecules then become heavier and sink and accumulate to the lower levels. Appre uh, appreciable ozones are found between 10 to 15 km. Remember, ozone is found from 10 to 15 km with maximum concentration at 20 to 25 kilometer the maximum concentration ozone ozone hole in recent times ozone o3 layers has thinned and large holes have been developed mainly over the polar and other latitudes due to atmospheric pollution so mainly at the polar okay and excessive use of cfc chlorofluorocarbon cfc so excessive use of cfc which comes from refrigerator ac okay because of this there has been a ozone hole that has been created or is being created and mainly at the polar regions then we have the solid particles in addition to the above gases the atmosphere contains particles such as salt from the evaporating sea water dust from uh, reg um, arid regions industrial and similar other particles they obscure solar radiation and affect visibility and temperature they also act as nuclei which promote condensation of water vapor prematurely in large cities and industrial areas frequent fog and smoke a mixture of fog and smoke is due to the high concentration of such particles greenhouse gases water vapor and carbon dioxide absorbs certain wavelength and terrestrial earth radiation and radiate them towards the earth they cause greenhouse effect which keeps the earth warmer than it would have otherwise been water vapor carbon dioxide ozone and some other gases are called greenhouse gases remember water vapor okay these are causing global warming and which serious threat to the life okay very uh, vertical distribution of air Half of the air masses contains below 6 km, remember, half of the air masses contains below 6 km, 3 fourths of below 10 km and 99% below 35 km. This is important, half of the air masses below 6 km and 3 fourths is below 10 km, okay. So this is how the first chapter finishes, so let's go to the mcq questions okay some more
Okay, now there are few more pages from the first chapter. I guess it is over. Okay, so the first chapter we don't have any MCQs. So in the next chapter, maybe uh, finishing the next chapter, thermal structure and atmosphere. This is chapter number two. So in the next video, we'll discuss about chapter number two.